Hello everyone. I want to show you what can you do with just some cheap uh, six mil plastic and some hoops uh, in a cold climate uh, with you know very short season. You you can still uh, have. I think basically uh, almost all the crops that you want. Right here inside I have melons. I do have uh, a, a little uh, extra systems. In this one, I have some uh, barrel with water to, to as a heat sink. And in the beginning of the season, I also have a heating cable to protect the seedling. But I have varieties here of uh, seedless watermelon and of uh, certain cantaloupe that are not for cold climates. So uh, that's why I add this. But if you use like, um, like Noir de Carmes, uh, or like hail's best uh, cantaloupes that you know are like a 90 days or even like uh, some that are like 80 days variety with just a plastic alone would be enough to, to have a, a, a good crop on this side i'll show you what i have so i have peppers uh, all kind of bell peppers there some hot peppers and eggplants that after few frost I still have crops of uh, this one they are um, finger finger eggplant fingerling eggplant uh, I do have some green eggplant some white uh, this is another I think is more than midget they are very small eggplants and I'll show you Right here, I have Roselle hibiscus, that is like a tropical uh, plant, and I'm able to get the actual, because uh, you harvest basically the flower before opening, that's what you harvest to make jams uh, and uh, drinks, so uh, they are kind of small compared to the one that maybe they get in Jamaica, they are at least double this the, the size, but if it is your thing, you can still do it plant is strong is healthy it's probably gonna keep going for another month uh, it wouldn't be surprised me if, if even uh, go into November maybe and not as a, a, a successful but peanuts that is uh, uh, growing peanuts in, in Canada and not only in Canada but in in, uh, uh, in Quebec zone 4 that's basically you know it's really pushing it, but uh, I'm gonna harvest some. I'll make a video, see what I get. But it's still doable, and uh, I don't have any additional heating on these ones. You can maybe add a, a, a heating cable. Uh, you can add uh, uh, anything you have. You can add a second layer of plastic. You can add a cover at night, a, a blanket, and increase easily the, the heat. And you get, you really can grow anything. It's. Uh, Minimal cost, even if you have to buy everything, you make uh, with some board the bed. You, you have the hoops, you have different, you can make them with metal conduit, you can make them with PVC, you can make them with wood, whatever you have. And a roll of plastic is gonna last you, you can make usually the cam, I buy 100 feet, so I still have plenty. I had like three beds set up like that, and I still have plenty to, to, to go for years. And this is just the regular six mil plastic it's not greenhouse grade is and uh, it just keeps going and going and you see right here it's a beautiful eggplant this is a, a apple green and then they don't get bigger than this even if you grow them in a, in a warm climate this is the size that they get and uh, right here I have a small uh, white egg, yeah, white egg eggplant. So that's also it's mostly the size. Maybe they get a little bigger. I had some little bigger. And uh, let's see, this plant look is still actually flowering. I don't know if it got pollinated, but I have uh, some uh, short season variety that always do better. But I had some like down there. If you can see, I move the seed. That one down there, it's a, an Asian eggplant, and uh, it's doing very well. Peppers as well. This is my second crop of poblano. I'm gonna let them grow for a little bit more. And uh, inside here, I'll show you 
uh, I have like the watermelon. Let's see. I don't even need to, to move the plastic, you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see. There it is. There's a seedless watermelon growing. Uh, it's ready, but uh, I have a couple of days now that it's very hot. I'll let it go there, maybe it gets sweeter. And that's it. I want to show you how easy it can be. You don't have to, to you know, just stick to greens and kale and, and, uh, and broccoli. You can grow anything. You can grow uh, even tomato under here. You get a push variety. Even if you're in zone 3, uh, I don't see why not. I'm sure it would work uh, pretty well for you. So, thanks for watching. Take care.